But whoever's in there is different. I mean, he's a big dude. Look at the size of his legs. Yes, yeah, he got this Rocket my, Synergy Pro Wellness on the back of his shorts. Shout out to Don Moore. Absolutely, this is definitely uh, Alpha Torre's uh, biggest challenge. Yes. Oh, and fighting under the red corner, he stands at six foot two inches tall, weighing at 212 pounds. Under no limits, kickboxing and Rick Schaefer, fighting out of Roosevelt, New York. Kareem Triple K. He stands at six foot five inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, under Dragon's Path Academy and Edwin Castro. Fighting at a guinea West Africa. The defending three undefeated champion, Alpha Tour. This is gonna be a pretty high pace fight. Oh absolutely. This is gonna be, gonna be a lot of kicks, a lot oh, yes. of uh, I'm See, I'll be honest, like, there's so much, like, to know about them, but at the same time, I don't know where it's going. Yeah. Because it's so, like, I feel like they match up very well, and I feel I like so well. Kareem matches yeah. up against Alpha very well. Yeah, this is, this is a fight that's meant to be. And, you know, Alpha's a guy who doesn't knock people out, like, left and right. Yeah. With, with devastating knockouts. He wears them out and then knocks them out. Cream opening up with some nice strong ooh yeah. leg kicks pop, pop, big pop. leg kicks too let's go the size of his tree chunk legs I know those are gonna be a difference maker for yep. him nice sorry I'm already cheering <laughs> <laughs> this is not good you can cheer all you want for a good sorry. fight I'm down there you go Reem it's like it's like you're trying to focus and talk about it yeah. at the same time it's like you just want to watch. Reem's working his head movement a lot better than I've seen him in recent fight, in past fights. Not that it was ever off, but I feel like there's a big difference. Oh, nice shot fight. by Kareem. He's landing a lot. Of, he's making yeah. the alpha open up a he's little. Pa he's controlling the pace. Yeah, he's making alpha open up early. Yep. Where he usually slow kicks and then it makes people open yeah. up. Yeah, I don't think alpha's faced many people that have that have tried to dictate the pace right off the bat. And he's got that reach that he's able to keep people at bay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kareem kind of, when he's strong enough he to get through. He muscles through it, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no. Big shots by both Gotta those keep guys. keep hands up, though. I think this, this might be a battle of cardio. Oh, yeah. As we I heard think so. It's going to be Tim all Herbert about pacing. say earlier. Yeah. Kareem's got cardio for days. Alpha seems to be throwing, trying to throw a little bit more of the fancy stuff, which I think Kareem is capitalizing on that. Yeah, that only gets you so far sometimes. It does. Like, if it lands, it's great. But, when you but start sometimes it's like like baseball. It's, you got to play a little ball. When you start fighting higher-level athletes, it yeah. goes out the window. Right. Oof, tough nice body, body shot. Yeah, there. real tough body shot right there. Yeah. Kareem, Kareem answers. returns with one. Oh, wow. Ooh. Good flurry right there nice. by both Ooh. fighters. Couple nice wow, what a first round. Wow. This is, this is a very composed fight for Kareem yeah, this Klein, is an though, I must this say. Is good first round for both yeah. fighters. Absolutely. How do you score that one? Ooh, I don't know. I think Reem might have taken that one. Yeah, it's an interesting fight. In terms of vol if you go by volume, I don't, neither fighter looks damaged. I, to be honest, I don't know how you, the judges are going to score that first round. Yeah. I really believe it could go either way depending on what the judge saw. Yeah. Now, this is where a fight like this, I truly believe, is where the coaching comes into Absolutely. play. Absolutely. I think it's adjustments. And sure. I think what makes a great coach is when a coach sees where they're not working, where they're working best, mm -hmm. and make the adjustments, the small details, yep. slide in and move forward. Yeah. And Rick Schaefer's attention to detail is like like no other. Like no other. You know, it's funny because I've been trying to get an interview with him forever. I mean, he just <laughs> absolutely doesn't want to do an interview. He's not, he's Lynch, not, a, he's I respect not a press, that. Yeah, a I, know, I respect. He's like a yeah. Marshawn Lynch type of guy. I respect <laughs> I'm it. just here so I won't get fired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is no one's firing him. <laughs> I get I respect that, though. Yeah, he's, he's, not he's here all for the business. show. Yeah. No BS. And I, I, you know, as a former athlete and just a fan of sports and a coach, right. I, I love that aspect. You gotta, yeah, you got to respect it. It's a busy guy. Yep. 
high volume from both fighters coming out in the second round. Wagner's telling him no pulling on the back of the neck. Mm. Yeah, both fighters coming out nice throwing. Nice combos out of Alpha, I must say, as always. That's that power though. We're seeing out nice of combos. combos yeah. yeah, yeah. He throws the one two he and the kick. He puts them together really quickly. Three. Yeah. He's finding that one little straight every now and then on Kareem. Yeah. But Kareem's doing a good job with the jab. Yeah. Nice body shot right there. Nice knee. Yeah, both of them are throwing Ooh. great knees. Oh, left Blocked right there by Alpha. Oh. Ooh, to the kahunas, and that was yeah. all a mistake. Yeah. That's just, you know what, he's tall, and Kareem that's, just tried yeah. to throw a kick. Yeah. Usually Kareem's a taller guy. Yeah, That'd that's be right true. In the that's gut. an adjustment that he hasn't usually faced. Uh, it looks like right now Alpha's missing a couple guys. Wow. You know, that's just a pure accident. That happens yeah. as part of the sport. But, you know, Alpha's definitely going to have to shake some up or uh, continue without him. That's why you wear the cup, though. Although guys wear the, sometimes when they're kickboxing those, like, Muay Thai cups that kind of get a little tighter on the inside. I have no but, idea. <laughs> I have <touché>. no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, not to sound like ignorant, but do no, no, women no. wear cups? No. You guys, you don't wear anything no. like of sorts. I it know they hurts. make something like that it for hurts, women. It hurts, but I mean, it's not compar comparable yeah, to. Yeah. So I know they do make something like that for they females. They do, but like, I'm not going to waste my time. Because I feel like I wouldn't be able to move around as much. I feel like it would look like a mask everyone's wearing in China right now. Oh, God. I'm right back at it. Yeah, you know, this is great action, great pace by yeah. big guys. Yeah. Kareem's got to stay busy, though. Nice uppercuts. Kareem takes a good He's, advantage of those last strikes at the very yeah. end of the break of the clinch. Yeah. He's responding to Rick very well, too. You hear Rick shout that combo, it's the second it comes out. Rick, I think, said Superman Punch, yep. and Alpha did it. Yeah. That is a fun thing to do, though. I like to do that, too. If hear I hear the other corner telling them to do something, I'm like, no, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I did a I'm solid like, round. I'm like, wow, good idea. Let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, if he's going to do it, I might as well beat him to yeah. it. Yeah. Solid round for both fighters again. Absolutely. I, once again, I'm not sure where to score this. Yeah, this is a good, a good fight. Definitely some of the most pressure that Alpha has seen or been on the receiving end of in terms of recent fights. Which I wonder is having an effect on him mentally. I mean, most of his title defenses have been easy. pretty, pretty one-side. One well, not don't, easy. Yeah, I don't want to no say that means, to disrespect yeah, anyone. Yeah, but uh, the, Kareem is obviously the toughest challenge. Sure. He's taken more shots in these first two rounds sure. than I think he's ever had yeah. in any of his other fights. Which is an adjustment. Now, they usually have been a little longer. I was kind of hoping this would be a longer fight, the more rounds. That's true. Going the cream the third, like correct? A, a half a smile. Yeah, third we're in the third. Up three? Yep. Third of three. Well, final round. Here we go. <laughs> Had to take my mic off for that. As the blonde dream team, half is losing her mind. This fight's really starting to open up by both guys. They're really throwing away. Working that inside leg kick. Oof. I think Alpha right now is doing a good job staying on the outside. Stay on the outside, yeah. He does seem to be scrambling a little bit with his punches, though. It doesn't seem as crisp. It's early at first two rounds. Yeah, he's just throwing. Yeah. Oh, nice left hand from Reem. Yeah, Kareem definitely got that strength. Yeah. Oh, nice shot right there by Kareem. See the head of Alpha whip back. Yeah. As as Kareem got away from those leg kicks he opened up with. Yeah. Maybe he hit one weird. I just felt weird. Yeah. Does that happen often when you throw oh, them? Every time to me. I mean, I'm still a baby. I'm still not as technical yet. Got a little blood coming out of Alpha's mouth. 
Now I heard both these guys talk about in the gym before the after the weigh-ins or before the weigh-ins. Right. Like, when do we turn pro? And when do we start getting paid? Mm -hmm. Rightfully so. Both these guys have had a lot of fights yeah. inside the cage. A lot the of ring. good fights. A lot yeah. of entertaining fights. What, what what's after this for? Especially for a guy like Alpha, a guy like Kareem. They both have a lot of fights. What do you do next? I don't know. I mean, they're both of their names are out there. Yeah, everyone knows them in this community. Yeah. Is that the 10 second warning? Yeah, it's a little Superman punch and a leg kick from Kareem. 10 second. And there's the 10 second warning. Yeah. I thought I heard it before, but Me it too. wasn't. A lot of knees. Great both, fight. Yeah, that was great, a great fight. Great fight. I want to see a couple more rounds. I want a few more rounds. That was an awesome fight. Both guys showing sportsmanship and respect towards each other. Now, can my friends stop fighting? Please, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've, I, I, I don't know. I know who. I don't know. I, I know I, don't who know I want to win. But I, I, I don't even know how you would score that fight. <laughs> like, that was a tough one to score. Yeah. I can't see. I like, to be honest. I wouldn't be upset either way if it fell either yeah. way. Like, obviously, I'm uh, not as biased. I'm, I'm objective <laughs> to it, but <laughs> are we gonna get a draw? No. Imagine we did. I don't know how we did, could, but we could. I mean, I I wouldn't be shocked. I must say. It was such a heck of a fight. Like I could definitely see it being a draw. Yeah. What Instagram am I? Oh, I'm on the gym's Instagram. Okay. Oh, you got like twelve of those things. You got Mine, a fake one. The gym, the baking one. The, oh, that's right. You're a cooker too. And Blonde Dream Team. Ladies and gentlemen, after looking at the scorecard, giving up your winner by majority decision, fighting under the blue cool <sighs> and still champion. You know, that was an awesome fight. I would love to see that rerun. I would like to see that run back. Majority decision. That was a, that was a heck of a fight right there, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely sort fight. of top-notch amateurs right there. Mm -hmm. I think both of them should definitely turn pro. Sure. Oh, absolutely. 100%. Cream of the crop. Yeah, no. 